I'm gonna give it a couple minutes for people to pop in. Here for the new moon tonight, so welcome guys. Happy birthday, Janet. We have an Aries with us tonight. So I'll just give it a few minutes for everybody to gather. Um, make sure that you are in a spot where you can get comfortable and still have your phone or computer where you can hear me um, tonight. I um, personally like to lay down, so if you want to do that, you're welcome, Janet. Thanks for coming. Uh, if you want to lay down, that's probably my favorite. Um, otherwise, you can sit up. Just make sure you can be comfortable for about 15 minutes. Um, you can sit actually against a wall or against your couch. If you want to sit on the floor, you can lay down, which is my preferred uh, meditation method. Um, you can also uh, do legs up the wall if you'd like, which is coming um, close to the wall and just putting your legs up so you'll be in an L. Um, hey, Pam. And hi, Mom. How are you? So um, just get comfortable. Um, we're going to get started here in a couple minutes um, as we let a few more folks gather. Hopefully everybody's doing well. And usually we'd be having a yoga class probably. Hi, Kristen. Glad to have you home, I bet. Bet mom is glad to have you home. Um, normally we'd be having class around the full and new moon, but since we're not doing that right now, I want to uh, just give a chance for us to gather and chill out for uh, 15, 20 minutes. So I uh, appreciate you guys coming. And new moon, uh, for those of you that come to my yoga classes, know that um, is a good time to make, um, set new intentions or recommit to anything that you may um, want to come back to. So as we're getting ready tonight, think about anything that um, might be a good new intention for you, um, a wish you wanna make, or um, anything that you'd like to recommit to. Um, it's a good time in the moon cycle to do that. If you have any crystals that you'd like to uh, gather for tonight, I'm using carnelian, which is um, because tonight's an Aries full moon there is uh, the fire element involved. So um, these are great crystals for the fire element and my carnelian hearts that um, I like so much. So uh, we'll get started here in a minute. And um, thanks you guys. Hi, Caitlin. Thanks you guys for coming. And Amy and Joe, hi too. We have a group meditation going on at Jana's, which is great. So just start to get comfortable. Um, I chose tonight to write a uh, visual, visualization for you guys, so if um, you follow along, if you lose your spot, if you find your mind wandering, just come back to your breath and just come back to where we are. Uh, meditation is no right or wrong way to do it, um, really just giving you a chance to uh, let go of the outside world, come into your own center, become present for um, the next, say, 15-20 minutes. So coming into your position, um, again, laying down, seated, um, legs up the wall, seated against a wall, whatever you'd like, and start finding your breath. You can close your eyes. You don't need to see me. Um, I will be here if you come back, but um, just make sure you can hear me. And just start coming into your breath and breathing down into your center through your nose. And then feeling that breath come all the way back up closing your eyes, letting the outside world just be out there for the next uh, few minutes and giving yourself permission to just relax and follow along with tonight's um, story, we'll say. And take a scan of your body. If you find any tension, um, any places that might be um, tight or at stress, just Direct your breath there and try and let go of that. If you're laying down, you can do a nice stretch overhead. You can do that same thing if you're seated. I'm just raising your arms over your head. Um, do a couple shoulder rolls. And starting to pay attention and bringing their breath into any spots that may need it.
thinking again of anything that you might want to focus on for your new intention tonight. And tonight I chose, um, our focus will be a go Greek goddess, and um, hopefully you guys saw a picture of her in the event. Her name is Estia, and she's redheaded. She is a goddess of uh, hearth and home, and right now with us mostly being home, uh, I thought it was a good to ask her to join us tonight, and she is part of our story that I will be telling tonight. Um, Hestia is responsible for keeping the fire burning in the hearth of the homes of the Greeks and Mount Olympus. So if you know anything about Greek mythology, um, I just found her and I thought she was a good partner for our meditation tonight. Her qualities are warmth, generosity, and kindness. And you can ask her as your new intention for any of those things or ask her for whatever wish that you have in mind tonight as we go through our visualization. So, start finding in your mind's eye that you are in the center of a large forest. And you're standing in a clearing. The trees are all around you. It's nighttime. And you can hear the birds and the animals starting to go to rest for the evening. The night is really dark. It says tonight is the night of the new moon. The moon is not visible, but you know it's there. You stand there breathing in the crisp, cool air. And looking up at the sky, you can see the stars coming to light. And you look forward and in front of you, you'll see a great hearth, a fireplace made of brick and stone. There's no fire burning right now. But next to you, the goddess Estea is standing. And she nods at you and smiles and begins to walk towards the hearth very slowly gliding across the forest ground. She reaches the heart, she kneels in front. She places her hands at the bottom on the stone. And you see the embers start to glow in the fireplace. And slowly the flames start to flicker larger and larger, going orange and red and yellow as the goddess is making the fire in the hearth, as is her purpose. The flames grow brighter and brighter as she rises and turns and slowly walks back to you. And she comes back, she hands you a piece of paper and a used smudge stick and she asks you to write a wish on the paper. So you take your intention that you've set the new intention for tonight what you'd like to bring recommitment to, what you'd like to bring into the world, either for yourself or for everyone. And you write it on that paper. You take a few moments and you hold the paper to your heart and take a few breaths as you inhale energy into that intention into that wish. And she asked you to offer the paper into the fire. So you begin to walk over to the hearth. And you kneel in front and offer the paper into the fire.
the edge of the paper starts to glow brighter and brighter until the paper becomes engulfed by the flames just offering your intention and your wish into the flames the fire bringing energy into that intention and that wish You continue to kneel by the fire, watching the flames engulf the paper. Until the paper is completely engulfed and turn, starts to turn into ash. And you rise in front of the hearth and continue to watch the fire, knowing that your offering and your intention has been placed in the right spot and is in the goddess of the or in the hands of the goddess right now. And she will be sure to make sure that that comes true. You slowly turn back to where you started and the goddess is still standing there and she smiles and nods at you. And you know that you did the right thing, that you gave your intention to her and that it will come true. You slowly back, walk back to her side. And she slowly starts to walk away into the forest, knowing that her job is done here. She continues to feel her presence after she leaves, standing and watching the fire, bringing energy into your intention and breathing in the air and the smell of the fire in the hearth. breathing out any resistance, any part of your body, just enjoying the night and the scene in front of the hearth. You can still feel the presence of the goddess, her kindness, her vitality, her generosity, and her warmth. You will carry this with you as you leave the forest tonight. As you stand in front of the fire that she created. The flames are strong and warm. Under the dark black, dark moon sky tonight. And you continue breathing in and just watching the scene and taking it all in. Again, letting your body relax. And letting your mind come back here to the fire and the flames. If it wanders into your intention. And staying here for a few moments and continuing your breath. And continuing to bring energy as you inhale into your intention and your wish. Remembering the presence of the goddess, her kindness and her generosity and her warmth and coming back here anytime you need to or coming back and asking her for health or any help or any of those qualities that she has to share with you.
Just taking a few more moments here to concentrate on your intention and your wish. Bringing energy with your inhales. And as you exhale, letting go of any blockers, any doubt that you have. And enjoying those few moments in your own center and your own presence. Again, seeing the fire in your mind's eye, feeling your intention in your heart, taking a few final rounds of breath here, inhaling all the way down through your chest, through your belly, to your core, exhaling, open your mouth and let all the air go. Doing a few more rounds on your own. I'm coming back anytime to this safe place. Coming back to the goddess, Estia, anytime that you'd like warmth or generosity or kindness. Or anytime you'd like to ask her to help you with a wish. And she's here to help you with anything related to your home also. But don't be afraid to call on her. Let's take a few more rounds of breath here if you'd like to stretch overhead. Starting to wiggle your toes and fingers if you are laying down. If you're seated, you can do a couple neck stretches each way towards each shoulder. Mm -hmm. We start to come back. If you're laying down, you can turn over onto your right side. Take a fetal position, take a few more breaths here. If you'd like to come back to seated, you can do that now or you can stay here. Just continuing to relax and continuing your meditation on your own. Or coming back to this um, this place anytime you need to.
take a few more breaths before we call it a night tonight. I appreciate you guys coming and watching, and I hope you liked our story tonight. If you're watching, I'll show you a picture. There's a picture of the goddess in the event. And here's her picture. So, coming back anytime you want to ask her for guidance or warmth in your home or your heart. So I'll hang on for a few minutes. If you guys want to comment, I'm glad to see everybody. Otherwise, have a wonderful evening, and thank you for coming. Namaste. Thanks, you guys, very much. The goddess will serve us well, right, to keep our homes warm. Good night. Hopefully everybody sleeps well, too. Namaste, ladies. You have a great evening, too, Pam. Thank you, guys. I'll be back in a couple weeks, maybe. Um, well, back for the full moon, for sure. Um, I'm thinking next week about doing a work-at-home chair yoga, so stay tuned. Um, we're all, I think a lot of people are working at home um, and or getting myself back into practice um, next week with a little bit of assistance from a chair might be a good idea, so... Hopefully you guys have a wonderful evening, and thank you again for coming. Uh, feel free to share this with anybody you think might need it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, your comments are welcome. So I will see you all soon. Have a great night. Bye.